Hey friends, today I wanted to talk about a project that I've been working on for quite over a year now and it's called notes.reshub.cloud. Some of you may be already aware about this. Uh, it's my cloud certification notes that are made public and are available on the web. Uh, I originally had them on GitHub, but now it's a complete web app. And I recently added my Linux essential certification notes. So I was preparing for it. I still haven't sat the exam, but I have my notes prepared and they are available on notes.reshub.cloud. So let's check it out. And as you can see, there are some other really good certifications. Uh, we'll go into them later, but the Linux essentials, see right off the bat that we jump into the package management. And I just want to point it out that they're completely focused on the certification. They might help people that are starting out in Linux, but there might be things that are missed out because uh, the objective of these notes were just the certification. But yeah, so we jump into package management right off the bat and you know, we have different distros in Linux, which means we have different package managers, so RPM, apt, and then we jump into the command line basics. So some general commands like cd, mkdir, touch, uh, ls, and you have a whole lot of commands. We jump into the getting CLI help. So there are man pages um, which can guide you on how to use a command. Let's say you don't have internet access and you are in the command line and you need help with a particular command you can look at those man pages. And you also have, most of the commands have an help uh, flag. So you can utilize that to see how and what options are available for that particular command. And then we jump into the file system. So the Linux file system itself, what are the important directories like bin, boot, etc, home, var. So we jump into those a brief, uh, explanation of what those directories are and how you can analyze them and we also have some compression and archiving uh, section here so yeah i think i did a pretty decent job when covering the topics that are included in the exam and then we jump into grep and pipes and regular expressions and how you can analyze text files and uh, use grep to do that you also have tail and some other commands. And then I jump into shell scripting. So what shell scripting is and what kind of statements you can write, if else loops, and I have some examples too. So basic statement, and then you have another example of an if and else statement here. Then we jump into the Linux operating system itself. So what is a kernel and what are the differences when it comes to Windows, Linux, and Mac? And what is a PID? So the process is involved when you boot up your Linux machine, syslog, klog, um, and then we jump into networking. So ping, dig, nslookup, netstat, route, traceroute, ifconfig. These are some important commands uh, that you might be questioned in the certification. And just in general, like when you're learning Linux, these are um, really good commands and will help you uh, with the networking side of things. And then we also jump into basic security and like user management, uh, root and standard users, what the differences are and how you can create a user and a group. And we also jump into the file and directory permissions. So how and what different permissions are. So read, write, and execute, and how you can change those permissions on a particular file or directory, how you can change the owner of that particular file or directory. And then you also have special directories and files, so symbolic links, what other type of special files and directories you would see, the sticky bit. So yeah, that covers um, the essential certification. And as I said, it is more focused towards the certificate itself, the exam, and not just Linux in general. Go so check it out and let me know what you guys think. And as I said, there are some other notes um, 
or the other exams that I said, so Hershey Cops, Certified Terraform Associate. You also have the SysOps Administrator, Solutions Architect, Developer Associate. And for Azure, I just have the fundamentals right now, but I think I'll add my administrator notes. It's just a huge exam. But yeah, I'll keep you guys posted whenever I add that. Until then, take care and I'll see you in the next video.